Hi guys, so today since it's such a nice day outside, we'll be doing a lot of that repotting. All these guys here need to be repotted. I have four in here, so I have two big ones here, and then two little ones right here. So I want to separate them, and so that they have their own pot. So we'll see how I can separate how I can separate the roots. Softly tap it to help shake out some dirt. Okay, once I make a break in there, just take my finger, just kind of go and wiggle it. of the soil and the soil looks like right now and it's already slowly kind of coming apart I might just have to pray it apart a little more uh, slowly working out the roots too here I'm just slowly 
slowly wiggle it. That's where they were connected. You could cut that. Um, I just decided to pull it apart and it should be okay. So, you know. And this will be its own. In its own pot. And now I'm debating if I want to take this little guy off. I might attempt to. Let's see. Oh, it's slowly coming off. Yeah. He has some roots on him, so that's good. There you go. I got this little guy. Hold it centered in, centered into the middle as I work on the back filling the flow in. And just lightly tap it in place. string to tie it to the stake just for uh, while it gets reestablished. I'm gonna tie it right about here to the stake here. Oh no! My string is too small. Let's see if it work. And I'll just double knot it here. Make sure you stay in. And I don't think this one needs a steak because he's still pretty small. So I'll just do that. And he is all good. And there we go. He is now in his own little pot. He's so cute. He's a little tilted. But I'll just make sure to, you know, um, have him face the sun the right way so that he goes up straight. So I want to make sure he has roots on him. And this truck is still here. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually slice him so that I could give him some roots. So I have a knife here and I'm just gonna slice around the base here. So I 
want him to go straight, so I'm actually going to angle him really because he's kind of curved. So I'm going to put this end further closer to the pot so that in general he's more in the center. He's in his pot as well. So cute. So this is a six inch. Six inch. We're gonna pot it in six inch. The other big one. This guy here. So let's And I will be watering only his after I repot them today. So because I was waiting for them to be pretty dry before I watered them, and so I can repot them. She does have two babies down here, but, or three, but they're really tiny, so I might just try to separate the two big ones and leave the babies with the big plant, um, just until they get bigger. So let's take it out. Oh, popped right out. Okay. Take out all the dead leaves here. with this one because they're all connected here unless I cut this one off but let me see while well, it's coming up so let's see let me make sure you have roots okay this one has a little bit of roots uh I will just repot it in tiny pots so and then these other two babies will just stay with this big mother plant she's gonna go in here First one we did, and this is the tanuki. 
here is the other big tanuki. With uh, no babies, but staked up. And then here are the babies. And here are the two rubies. Okay, so with all of my plants repotted, pretty much um, some of them, since I separated them all into their own pots, I will be most likely be selling some of them or giving them away. And then I'll just keep one of them. What a beast.